call to the meeting to order at. Yeah, well, we're going to say it's not five minutes. It's just five minutes. Not 30. <laughs> Nobody heard me say it at 5 30. from you, so I was glad you sent it out. Yeah, so I don't know what the protocol, well, who's the one that's supposed to go? Okay. okay, so what we're going to do tonight, so we're going to finish up this standard survey. We did a lot of work. You guys stayed late a month ago, and we did a tremendous amount of work. Um, Mary and I, I think it was the two of us primarily, but went in and tried, oh, no, Andrew, you were helping too, big time, um, to reform it in ways that we did a lot of things. So it's a matter of really just going through it and, and maybe we can just spend 10 minutes doing it and then going back and, and then quickly sharing stuff rather than trying to do that together. So we do that. I, in, in the meantime, what I will do is Sandy sent me some ideas. I think it was mostly about the, um, the uh, community survey. And then Andrew, um, one Andrew, two people Andrew. I said that. I think the living man. He, 444 is when he went in today. So, um, so I will share. I'm going to share this with you. Um, but I'll share, I'll put this stuff here. They won't be able to do that when we actually hear. So how about we take, does that make sense? We take 10 minutes. Is that enough? I'll check with you in 10 minutes to go through. I'll write the thing. It might need to be changed. Does anybody need me to share the digital version with you? That would be amazing if okay. you could just reshare okay. it. Did you get anything? So. Yeah. Is this it? No. No. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not hard copy, but that's okay. You got it. Right? I got it right here. Mm -hmm. okay. I can share the digital version then if you want. So I'll put the timer on. Let's, let's do 10 minutes and just do it personally. What's happening? whatever way makes the most sense to you, and if you would just make a note of what your concerns are, questions are, about the truth. Is Yeah, I think only the preview.
get to.
Maybe it doesn't matter, but I definitely, more? I had some people be like, what the heck? It's been okay. Okay. We just I finished our sixth year. I yeah. did. More than five years. Let's just fix that right now. The whole section. That? This this whole section is everything. Yeah. Are we making an assumption that people understand personalized learning and flexible pathways? That's that was my. Question. I don't. Well, know. That's the next section. Oh. oh. Section one is super short. Section <laughs> one is that. Section. Uh, I'm sorry, I did have a thing in section one. Um, uh, which of the programs has your child attended? Should it be child children? Just so it's clear that yes. it does say check program. all that apply, but. I tried to get all those. And, I and what about, I think, the ideas? Okay. People in the, this is only for parents and formal parents? Yeah. Okay. I don't know, in my head I was thinking okay. it would be a broader you know, These are people that are about it that are not teachers and students, but that are actively involved or have opportunities. Like, I consider mm -hmm. them part of the school community as opposed to the Would we want to give an option? Like, there might be people in the community that would like to give input that aren't parents. I don't know. I'm just, I'll, 
Yeah. yeah. So I know some of the um, wording you changed in something I've been looking at lately. I don't know what it was. We think it's a caregiver survey. I hear what you're saying is that you want to someone who's close and actually knows. Right. I mean, if someone has an opinion, but maybe he doesn't really. We would, yeah. There's people that send the outside might follow my fear. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think like the word family is too like? But no, I'm thinking about the conversation that I had with um, Jamie about sending a mailer out with a, and I and I just want to make sure it wasn't his impression that everybody in the community would get it versus just not this one. There's another one. The other one. one. And I'm getting the two mixed up. Yeah, it's really good. I'm getting the two mixed up. The next one's going to have a whole kind of different. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Be Sorry about that. that. No questions. So. This one, I think, as long as this one includes like foster parents and you know what are those, whatever those family mm -hmm. are. Yeah, perfect. They go there. Okay. So we give it one. I got the question. Yeah. All right. First one is learning in diverse pathways, and um, Mary, you had you had a consideration. We uh, sure we talked about it. We had a small group that night, and uh, wondering about that. Um, just, you mean how we define personalized learning? And sh should we in that, the beginning of that section, or number two, or I guess the beginning of the section, just explain a little bit more about personalized learning and what the pathways are? Isn't that what we did in the last video? Sorry. No, please. Wasn't there links? Aren't those words like links to like a definition yeah. or something? And see section descriptions here. Section, like, you can easily, like, have a oh, number four. Well, number four says there are diverse and flexible pathways available to meet the needs and interests of students, which is really what the personalized is, is to meet the interests and needs of your child. Can we just? And that's what personal pathway is. That's also based on well, child interests, which is the one that gets people to arrive. The, so my, my perspective, the first time I heard flexible pathways, I didn't know it. Right. And I had to ask a few people, to, you know, what does that mean? What is it? Okay. You know? so, so for me, like if there was a little more wording in the introduction, just okay. like then the questions would make more sense. I mean, like I, now that I read it, it seems obvious, but I wonder if that's because I've had it defined in previously. Do you have a lot to say on the next couple of sections? No. Would you like to just play with it? Uh, you probably have the best perspective. Really, on what I don't? Yeah, I. I mean, I don't think I understand what um, diverse and flexible pathways is as well as other people do. Right? Right. But, but as far as me, like seeing the words and not how intimately knowing right away what that means, I guess I have a lot of stuff. But I don't know if I'm the right person. So you're feeling like you don't have it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we can just uh, look at the Act 77 and just okay. take what the state actually says and mention part of this, we're trying to meet the requirements that the state has set out in Act 77 and defining flexible pathways and, you know, through however they put it. I don't have to yeah. Is it in the section description? So it's a matter of just copying what's already in the section it, description? Yeah, why don't you can like literally link to either link to a Google Doc and then work and then just put it in the
16 BSA 941, which is the statute, and then talking about dual enrollment early, early college, work-based learning, virtual, and relative career technical education and personalized learning. Yeah. I mean, it's tough because if it's going to be in here, it has to be a few words, right? I think this might go. Well, that's what I'm saying, like a yeah. link to this somewhere. A link. Yeah. Yeah, let me take a question. But I think we'll, we'll just clarify that. Yeah. The section descriptions, are, it's really clear in that section three that's in yeah. that Google Doc that I'm sure we can copy and paste right from what was already put together. In the section description link. Copy and paste it from here. Section description link. Oh. Oh. So we can click on that at the yeah. beginning. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. So like that, so that should be. So that's C-section descriptions at the beginning of the survey, and then it goes into details in the air. Okay. So maybe you that in a part of that one. No. Can you put a link to that? Yeah. 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 I have a nitpicking thing. I don't know if it's going to be possible to fix it. I suspect because it was in the table. Every time that this table is there, that I don't know needs a space. And so I think if you just fix it in the first place, it'll get fixed every place. Oh, good it, things like that are crazy. Sorry. Uh, yeah, no, 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 we're an educational institution. Yeah. Kind of stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> but every time that table exists, it's still there. All right. Thank you. feel free to identify the school. You mean on number six? Six and seven? Is it even like the school you're talking about? This one we're really asking about high school and middle school, right? This isn't really number five. There's a lot of questions on there that only relate to relate to those. Like work based learning is not happening in elementary. But some of them, like, have Early college is not. That would be really rare. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I mean, maybe there should be, like, an NA or something there. Like, if you, I don't know. 
Yeah. Or I guess it's always at school. You would so. just say, I don't know. Yeah. But there's, that's not, oh, are I you talking, what are you talking about Chelsea visiting with, um, I mean, the high school going down and visit at the middle school to talk about careers, right? Didn't you, didn't you all do that? So you probably want some, that was a work-based learning approach that you took. No, the middle yes. school. Oh. Jeff did with Chelsea. Oh, but not right. Yeah. But that's for high school, right? Well, we went and talked to the middle school about the workplace learning things that kids are doing. So I don't, yeah. I mean, it's kind of like, it, but it is like right. okay. preparing the kids for things that will be coming and getting them to think about things. But I mean, it's part of the flexible pathways thing. Yeah. That this, Janet and the flexible pathways coordinator. Yeah. And Andy has people in sharing that for Yeah. So, workplace learning is that high school only or neither? I think it's, I think based on what Andy does in flexible pathways, kids are getting a lot of ideas about careers. Well, so, yes or no? Workplace learning and career education are two different things. Because workplace learning would be you're going into the workplace. Into, I get it. Whereas, and like if you look at the aspirations that Lisa's doing, kids are deciding what they're going to do if they're going to college in sixth grade. So, we should, like, career stuff should be happening in elementary school, not just middle school. And then, but the workplace learning is like going out and job shadowing and internships and things like that. I so I, I, I hear that. I should stop commenting today. I don't know. Maybe you should just leave so, it as is and we can just <laughs> sort that, through the data yeah. after. Yeah, we'll get yeah. there. Yeah. We get what we got. This is just a maybe drug rush. Yeah. 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 We need something more because we just got a bunch of I don't know. It's like I say, that's information. That's not a criticism. That's just information. Um, yeah. We have nothing in here about career, and I'm not saying we should, I'm not suggesting that necessarily, I would mean, be against it, but I think we'll just do high school only from advanced placement down, leave the workplace learning and flexible pathways available for elementary and uh, Maybe not out there. Do you want me to write high school options? Them. I'm sorry, I'm doing all the things. Can you hear me? Yeah. After work, thanks, Lindy. You want me to put like high school in parentheses? Like that? With what? That we oh, want? No, that one. That's too confusing. Too subtle. No, I, that I one. would leave it. <laughs> that one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there you go. And all the ones going down. So nine on. Well, not, not athletics. athletics. Not you athletics. can move athletics up. Yeah. 
that's the book they have to read in order to find Did you
that would give you the sort of granularity of which school you're talking about, I guess, if you go to the table. Okay, I'm just going to make a note of that and not try to do it right now. I'm just going to it. The, the part of this that has bothered me on this particular section you know, is the idea that, you know, somebody that's got three kids, one kid is feeling challenged, one kid is engaged in their learning, another kid is a slug. <laughs> so how do they answer this? Can you well, select you all there? The additional thoughts again. Yeah, and hopefully they would explain that. And maybe the, the adding the table will help that too. Because I think they could answer more of the question. Yes. No, that's great. This one actually is part of the question. And then, yeah, you know, this other stuff is on the staff. Sandy's stuff is about community. So, okay. Student adult relationships. Good there. Okay. Yep. Um, the technology and education, this was hysterical that we said. It's the first one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I wasn't sure what. It's supposed to be goal. What is it? The school district has achieved the goal of buying uh, state of the art technology. Oh, I'm assuming that's what that L was right. left over from. Oh, okay. Is this Is it Missy? I'm wondering about educational process versus learning. All right, let's stop right there. So, Anne, let me give you Andrew's perspective. I think it's hysterical. Because we spent a lot of time on this trying to figure out what would they really know. Blah, 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 blah. And is, it is he a tech guy? Is that part yeah. of his background? So, he says, I want to Tech. Add to it like we had the other questions in the family of the student survey. Or he said, um, lose the entire section. And I said, lose the entire section. Because we struggled so much with what, what so people we would know or not know. Yeah. <laughs> so, ta ta. Yeah. Great. That's my motive. I, I have a motive. I agree. I agree. It's, it's, it's yeah. only a, unless it's two questions or whatever. Yeah. It is. So, I don't think it's, in my mind, it seemed like we didn't really get that far. Right. You know, well, he even like, said it. I mean, you know, okay. <laughs> yeah. We're asking the parents, too. That's the other thing. Yeah. And, you know, they get a Chromebook or whatever, so. Yeah. You know. yeah. Let's get that. Let's get that. Let's get that. Let's get that. Next three questions. Right out here. Okay. We spent a lot of time on that last time. I'm trying to make up the. Um, school structures. Question 25. I don't know, is it? This is serving students for both of them. No, it's the choices. Yeah. I don't know, is it? <laughs> I can't, I can't that already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Question 25. Yeah. Um, Question 25. Yeah. Question 25. Yeah. Question 25. Yeah. Question 25. Yeah. Question 25. I wondered about the wording on the like serving students from both Bethel and Royal Ten at the same elementary campus should be considered. I just wondered if we should add the word combine or something so that it was stood out a little bit more that they're oh, right. it's it's like serving a, a, a combined yeah. population Because right like they should both be served. Of course, but right. like I think right. I, my eye was <laughs> We're not going to serve one. My, my eye was drawn to the wrong part of that. So today. combining students like from this? both. So how about serving students um, at one at one campus or yeah at one campus? I think that's yeah one combined campus. I don't know if that would be fine. Because I feel like that's you need the same, it. Right. That, isn't that at the same combined? I feel like it's like one. I don't know. I like interpret it yeah. as at the same meeting the one they're at right. Yeah, oh, I just feel like it's confusing. Whoa. Is that better? That was a huge yeah. pitch. Yeah. Combine yeah. both elementary campuses onto one campus. Yeah. Or it's serving so they a combined so student population. Sure. Take that, you know, that's combined. fancy. I wonder if it's just the grammar of it is a little too fancy. Like, we should, so right. that's what I was thinking. Yeah. yeah. We should consider Water, combining yeah. students into one elementary. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. 
students and leading with serving students. Sounds like lunch. <laughs> yeah, we should consider. Well, maybe that's it. We should, based on the, based on the, the um, wording of the one before, we should consider serving students, um, combining students, maybe from both level. Yeah, I just feel like serving students is not a phrase that most okay. civilians use. Students combining elementary campuses to one campus. Yeah. Elementary yeah. campus. Yeah, I, I like that. Combining students. Elementary How did you say it just now? Well, just combining, uh, we could do combining Bethel and uh, Royalton elementary campuses to one campus. We're talking to the group is to talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be talking. Well, I, was just saying, you the I think you need to plural campuses. The, the real reason we're asking this is to have one campus. It, yeah. it doesn't just uh, mean uh, don't other one. Out. All right. <laughs> Sorry. It, like, obviously, it's the greater, but in this one, we could elementary campus to one elementary campus. Yeah. 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 I, I think that's clearer. Well, I don't want to elementary it's not one elementary school. You can do that. There already was one program. Oh, thank you. No, it's already one. It's really hard. Oh, my God. Does that help with clarifying? All of it. There you go. That's probably much better. Yeah. Or that, the what, semicolon? Yeah, parentheses or something? Yeah, I like that. You do that. Okay. Okay. Right. Sure. It's very clear. <laughs> yeah, I like that. All right. You good with the math? Yeah. I'm sorry, that's going to be more than my word. Oh, I, I thought you could lose the question about. 9 through 12th grade structure if we're trying to take out. Personally, I feel like that's a given that high school is going to be 9 through 12. Maybe it's not a given. But I think in some places they. I've never heard of another one. I've never you? agreed with another okay. structure. But. <laughs> there are some folks who put Aiden and AB right. look more at the high school. Okay. But I'm not saying that that would ever. And there's places that do 10 through 12, and 9th grade is considered school. school. Okay, I guess I'm just not familiar with yeah. I've never seen one, but I've read it. Yeah, yeah I, I actually went to a 6 to 9 school. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
transporting students from each town to the campus they attend. Hose and Chow. Hose and Chow. Or just transportation between campuses and Hose and Chow. Yeah. Instead of the whole first sentence? Yeah, that sentence is an awful sentence. No offense to anybody. <laughs> I wasn't calling anyone a drunk anyway. That was the first time you came to mind. It's pretty complimentary, really. Yeah. Because I think we're going to be trying to keep everything that we're just transportation, period. Student transportation challenges. Say that again? The merger created student transportation challenges. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Well, the, the other thing I'm noticing, mm -hmm. just reading into it, it kind of makes it sound like the cross. It's worded different how the cross bus is in the morning, then it says in the afternoon the bus is bring people back and forth. And shouldn't we call cross town buses? I mean, that's what we refer to them. They have very grouchy right. bus drivers. We don't want to have any of them. Do you guys say cross town bus? They, yeah, exactly. we don't. We say cross bus. So. Oh, okay. so there you go. This is, this is, yeah. Maybe we that should way. unify our language. <laughs> 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 um, and I can I don't need Vicky yeah, again. Yeah. Okay. We, changed, I just, I was we changed the word houses to homes. Yeah, that's a good idea. Or bus stops. Destinations? Stops. You know, like we don't bring people to our destinations. Yeah. To their stops? Bus stops? Yeah. That's true. I think down below you're going to need some like other or not applicable or something because it's required and some people don't use the bus so you need some extra buttons down there. Yeah. yeah. Other class you want? Sure. Or any. I mean, if they don't check it, then they get through. It's not like no, it is required. So. I mean, you can change it to not required. Do you want to do that? Sure. Hey, I think we want like an olive. Uh, you know, because how many people are going to opt out? Don't we want to know how many people don't take advantage of it? We have that data, though. We have the data. Yeah, well, no, it, it's like asking the question of like or putting the other option is why your students like the bus. There's no bus for my road in the afternoon. You know, I mean, it's no information. The one that actually stood out was the next, the ones about Bethel Elementary and Royalton Elementary. It's like, then you need a, like, if I only have a high schooler, I need a button to click to say, I don't have one of them. Well, let's not work. Yeah. I actually, all the feedback we get about transportation is lovely. I feel like we're in a bind about changing our Yeah. <laughs> we have what we have. We don't have enough to do what we want to do. Yeah. Not done. All right. We did with this the way we adjusted it. I wrote them down so Can the board there in the paragraph be changed to the vision because you've got a you know, pronoun in there that doesn't have to refer back to anything? No, but I'm, I, I'm really picky. <laughs> no, I, no, I decided to add it. Sorry, that's good. Where it says their vision, I think it should be the vision. I think the next two just need to, need to not be required. Yeah, the elementary specific ones, or like, I don't know how. The top one, yeah. And then those two. But then there's the I don't know. Does that cover it? Or? Well, not really. Like if you just don't have one of those kids. Yeah. It's all the same mess. 
Right. So some different phase I guess same for middle school and high school, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, where are we with the uh, family community involved with the questions? Yeah, they're fixing requirements. These shouldn't be required. Awesome. And I think just what you want to call it is what we need to require, right? I think I think that's awesome. Can we add another for morning reader? Something morning we talked about at the best conference. Hmm. We'll volunteer to do morning reading. Yeah. Uh, what? Morning readers. Oh. What's that? It's where folks are there to welcome students, make eye contact. I mean, there's some structures that are very organized where parents are driving up and the teachers are opening the back door, kids get out, so a teacher or a parent volunteer has hands on. Sometimes my vaccine is not a condition that I want any adults to <laughs> Like, be there and wave, but give me six feet. <laughs> That's fair. We can do that. No, it's kind of cool. Kira really likes the idea. No, it's, big, it's a big deal, but sometimes contracts get in the way about that, and, you know, and really start to yeah. like that, having somebody at the front door is maybe it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, we have that in that elementary, I've never yeah. thought of asking for a volunteer, or something, um, all right, do you like the idea or not? We do it, but I've never thought of asking a volunteer. Kind of give the PTO a, uh, PPO's mostly We're teachers. Mostly <laughs> PO. No, we're not in PPO. That was just PO. <laughs> Alright. Are we good with that? Yeah. Alright. Communication is always fun, but communication will also be a big deal. It's a different kind of communication in the community. Wait, what is teacher apps? So in elementary, we have classes they use Joe's or mind app. Uh, I can't think of another one. Does that say oh it does say out? Oh, sorry, it's cut out on what it is. It is. Uh, it was nice to say like we didn't actually spell out the school newspaper or the school newsletter. Did that listen? It does say school newsletter. Yeah, yeah. What about um USPS mailing? Snail mail? I don't think you mail anything besides end of year report cards for some people. <laughs> Or attendance letters, like it's always. Maybe for the community, that's a better question. Yeah. Mm. Just for the record, all the stuff in the state, superintendent's nightmare. Because every single one of these becomes a piece of the, the child's scoop record. Yeah. Any communication by a student is about no matter how it's done. And when it's done in the personal phone, when there's a problem. Lost personal phone and it's just it is it's a I mean it's a tremendous communication tool. It's just it's such an important. We ask the community if they want mailings. We should probably have the next question be, would you support spending the money on that? Because that's thousands of dollars a year. We do do mailings, but I would say it's more like we mail the counter for and I although that was picked up last year. I guess we sent home like the first beginning of the year kind of stuff. I don't know if the elementary does. It's all online. Middle school does mailing. In the communications plan, there they is a they can also do mail newsletter that's in the calendar year. Talk about it through you know, the community that they're reaching. Yeah. 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 You want to print a copy of these calls to the other way. So there will be other cheaper ways to do that. And everything will be organized. So are these okay or was there something you wanted to add? Good. 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 It looks like these questions are not required. I don't know if we want to change that. Unless I'm reading it wrong. Wait. 
Maybe I'm reading it wrong because all my asterisks just went away. Oh, no, they didn't. The last section, they weren't required either. advisory committees for each school that you you have to say for each campus or program. program. I don't want to make it more complicated. No, I think you're right. I'm going to do elementary and high school. If it needs to be required, it would have to be required at each row. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, 
we didn't do, because we were talking about tuition, but some of them are tuition and some of them are the court um, tuition. Yeah. I mean, with the high school, some of them are statewide tuition. Maybe and or it's just one. Some of them, it's my parent lives in two towns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Yeah, we need this. Remember that? Bad name. <laughs> if we are, <laughs> if we are <laughs> intentional, we're almost there. You know, like my dad lives in Pittsfield and my mom lives in Pittsfield. Oh, I see. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. If we're um, intentionally adding the middle school, is there something missing from the long mm -hmm. list? It seems pretty comprehensive. Yeah. I mean, we don't have like AP classes and stuff, but I do right. think sometimes people choose their middle school based on where their high school is. So they're going to create that, those friendships. Yeah. Okay, we're well, on to the thing. And there's a short answer, anyways, right? Yeah. So if it's not, they're going to go for um, That last the thank you paragraph, this one was written for the teacher staff survey. Oh. Nope. Okay. That needs to get yeah, turned around. I read it and didn't even see that. Same. Yeah. You call it confirmation bias or something? Yes. That's why you need many items. I think we use this for being students that need to know that they need to go to the I think we just need to switch yes. around the teacher and staff for families.
I'm remembering correctly. Okay, so it's like a, a questionable year's worth of data. So I guess, I, it's like, I guess the question is like, if you're trying to access families that might have graduated, you still want their feedback, right? They need to go back and let the school and figure out what they did wrong. Yeah. Right? Well, well, I mean, let me just challenge you here. If you, are we looking for information on the success of the merger from the folks that were part of the first five years, <laughs> whatever that is? Well, no, are we really looking for where we are now? That's what I was just going to ask. Because maybe we don't have it, except yeah. 2024 grants. I don't know, but I think we have ways to that. I mean, we've been tasked to figure out how it's going. Right? Okay. We've been tasked to figure out how it's going. Right. And to me, that means like a, a reasonable amount of time going back, not the whole thing. Yeah. You know, so I think looking back five years makes sense to me and not, and not looking back further than that. Well, further than that would be the further <laughs> Okay, so maybe a, a couple of years. I don't know. Well, and maybe there's a way in the very beginning of this survey to have, we didn't say what years are your children. Yeah, I was just wondering if yeah, that's there. interesting. Like, I also think things change radically during COVID, so I feel like we don't need to go well, back to COVID, like, because mm. it's totally different. I don't know. It's almost like we don't remember the world before. You know what I mean? It was yeah. Such a, yeah. I mean, it really is like AC, BC, yeah. or whatever. You know, after COVID and before <laughs> that's, that's COVID. It's kind of easier to just go snapshot right yeah. now. Who do we have right now? different administrations at the high school. I don't know how many in the other levels. And there may be things that we might need to reconsider that we go back to or things that are doing we're doing really well. So I mean it, in general it might be good to just do it for the five years. I guess that's only if it's possible. Yeah. Reality. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Okay. Okay. All right, we'll find out what's possible. It's broad. Yeah, and I also think that we actually, personally, my bias, I think we have a COVID really loved it compared to some other places. Yeah. And I think that... So I, I think it went pretty smoothly. I, I, I'll agree. I mean, I was in the trenches a little wiping down, too, you know. I think it went the greeting, the, the lines, the, you know, planes. Think about the schools that, like, literally closed. Yeah. 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 I think it just disrupted things. So, I mean, yes. obviously. So, it's like. It was disruptive. But you all had COVID keepers, too, that, like, there was lovely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's not all bad. I, yeah. We came back. We, we all managed. We figured it out or whatever. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, let's just see. Let's see okay. what we can get. That's all of them right now. Yeah. What they're making. Yeah. Okay. okay. In my brain, it feels like a totally good Yeah. Reality, I don't know. And so, the idea being that, and I had thought about that, too, if you were using or if you already have a way to contact us for and just to use that. And if somebody gets it, it's moved out, you know, whatever, because stuff is not been updated. So, so. Well, that may be something that you come up against because of people have graduated, you know, and we're going to college and that. So. But, you know, it, it's interesting. Because we don't it's know until we try, I guess. Well, we still have their parents. And I would say that
But I, I hope well, as a community, as, as perhaps there's an opportunity, this may be quite, I may be way out of mind, it might be an opportunity to slide some of those facts into a you know, survey that, you know, here are the things that we're, we're doing, we, we want us to do in order to provide these things for students. These are the places that, that schools can support are probably doing, are we putting our money in the right place? Not how much money, but are we putting it in So that was where my mind was going, looking at the community stuff. But, you know, to go back to the articles and look at what we were promising the community that was not educational, that was not meaningful. Um, and in some cases, community money. Look at it just from a community level. Yeah, and that's and that's hard. It's really hard to do. But that's a I think it's been very powerful and you can find some really good information out and I think like I say it also might be an opportunity for um, the district to be you know putting some information out about what what really happened here. I mean there are there are ways that this is gonna be success, but there are ways where it hasn't and it hasn't been a lot of uh, communities and this is all this all the same reason. As recipients of the Act 67 community school model, we mandated oh, oh, to address all those issues yes. as well. So yes. through the legislature, we are mandated to wrap to provide integrated students. Even even move to um, uh, what was the other school that we had?
I'm actually going to be away as well. Late? I'm going to be gone. Okay. But could I, I could connect um, via Zoom. Well, well, just to figure out how much you do food. Oh, God. It's too hot. It's too hot. Yeah. Does anyone want to adjourn? No, it's too hot.